Another day, another rheumatology videos from your best medical channel ever, Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Today, I'll talk about anti-synthetase antibodies, such as the anti jo Some people write it like this, anti jo one and I'm going to tell you why did we call it anti jo why not anti-Jackson or anti-Henry or whatever, only at Medicosis Perfectionalis. Now, with that being said, let's get started. The $63,000 question in rheumatology is, does the lab test correlate with the clinical picture? Anti-nuclear antibodies, the higher the tire, the more likely you have an autoimmune disease. The higher the tire does not mean that the disease is more severe, and these guys are not specific. Anti-neutrophilic cytoplasmic antibodies, or ANCA, are antibodies against the antigens in the cytoplasm of neutrophils and monocytes associated with small vessel vasculitides, and we have two types of them. We have the C-ANCA, and we have the P-ANCA. C-ANCA is associated with granulomatosis with polyneuritis, P-ANCA is associated with eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyneuritis, microscopic polyneuritis, inflammatory bowel disease associated angiitis, etc., 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 but they do not correlate with the symptoms of vasculitis. Just because you have high titers of ANCA in your blood doesn't mean you have severe symptoms of vasculitis right now. Rheumatoid factor, an antibody against an antibody. Criteria for diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. Is it sensitive? Yes. Is it specific? No. Does it correlate? Yes. Anti-cyclical citrullinated peptide for rheumatoid arthritis. Are they sensitive? No. Are they specific? Very specific. Do they correlate? Yes. Now let's go to lupus land, anti-double-stranded DNA. Sensitive? No. Specific? Yes. Correlates? Yep. We are still in lupus country. Anti-Smith antibodies. Sensitive? Nope. Specific? Yes. Do they correlate? No. Anti-U1 RNP. For mixed connective tissue disease, they are very sensitive but not specific. For lupus, they are neither sensitive nor specific. In other words, piece of trash. Anti-ribosomal P protein, we are still in lupus land. Sensitive? No. Specific? Yes. They correlate? Yes. With what? Liver disease and CNS problems. Now, today's topic, anti-synthetase antibodies. By the way, let me ask you a question. What's the difference between synthase and synthetase? And the answer is... Synthetase involves a T P. Okay, just a side note. Cool. They are O2 antibodies, which means they are antibodies against your own body, antibodies against the self. What are the targets? They are O2 antibodies against tRNA synthetase enzyme. What the flip is this enzyme? It's an amino acid tRNA synthetase. Oh, really? It's a tRNA ligase, in other words, if it's a ligase, it's gonna ligate or attach amino acid to the tRNA. So, just enzyme that attached amino acid to this tRNA, boom, we're done. anti jo one o 2 antibodies. Why did we call them anti jo Because the patient that we first discovered these antibodies in was named John, so they are anti jo Okay, Joe, great. They target histidyl tRNA synthetase. They are associated with myocytes, which means inflammation of muscles, such as dermatomyositis and polymyositis. And when they are associated with myositis, they are also have increased risk of interstitial lung disease. Okay, so anti jo one myositis and interstitial lung disease with myositis. Let's go to anti-SRP. Targets signal recognition particle or protein, and they are associated with lupus. Anti-MI2, again, dermatomyositis, and they indicate good response to treatment. So if you have a patient with dermatomyositis and anti-MI2, good news, you will respond to treatment. Let's differentiate between polymyositis and inclusion body myositis. Don't worry about this jargon, we're going to talk about them later in detail. But for now, the muscle weakness in polymyositis is more proximal. Proximal muscle weakness like your, your biceps, your triceps, proximal muscles. Here they are more distal. How about anti jo It's very common to have anti jo antibodies in case of polymyositis, but less likely in case of inclusion body myositis. So if you have a patient with myositis, 
and anti jo one it's very unlikely its inclusion body myositis. Thank you, Joe. No thank you for the anti jo And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and save my rheumatology playlist. Support this channel on Patreon. I'll give you my notes as well as my 50 hematology cases. This is Metacosis Perfect Snailus, where medicine makes perfect sense. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard.